Amanda. I teach preschool Sunday school at St. Mark Lutheran Church here in NT. Every weekday we get together, we sing a song, we read a story, and we say a prayer. If you have any specific prayer requests, please leave them on stmarknt.org. We would love to pray for you. Get excited because we do have a live coming up at the end of the month. If you would like to participate in that, you can request the link through the same website. And we would love to invite you to join us. We had a lot of fun last month and are looking forward to doing that again. Um, so during these videos, we are joined by our friend Bubba. He does need a little bit of help, especially on Mondays. So if you could please help me wake him up on three. One, two, three. Good morning, Bubba! Oh, good morning, Miss Amanda. And how are you today? Good morning, Bubba. I'm doing excellent. How are you doing? Well, Miss Amanda, I'm a little frustrated today. You want to know what happened? I would love to know what happened. So, my mommy uh, was outside and she was doing some gardening and I said to myself, you know, we've been talking a lot about doing something nice for someone. So I did the dishes all by myself. Wow. I even put them away. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. You want to know what, though? What happened? My sister, ugh, just, she, so mom comes in, she goes, oh my gosh, who did the dishes? And my sister took the credit. Oh no. Can you believe that? I'm sorry. Yeah, gosh, little sisters, what can you do? I'm so sorry about that, Bubba. Yeah, I was so upset. I wanted to make my mom feel special and loved. And then my sister just came in and stole it. Well, she still felt special and loved. Yeah, but I didn't get the credit. It's all yeah. about the credit, you know? Well, is it, though? For me, it is. Mm. Maybe we should learn from our story today. Yeah, sure. Let's read it. Okay. So, for oh, our... sisters. What do you think, boys and girls? Do you have a younger or older sibling that's ever... Taking credit for what you did? Yeah, let's figure it out. What, what does it say in that Bible? Okay, so we're going to read a story called Isaac's Blessing. And for our friends at home, they can find this in Genesis chapter 27. Alright, let's All right. read our story. Yeah. When Isaac was an old man, he could not see very well. He called for his firstborn son Esau. Bring me my favorite dinner, then I will give you God's blessing. I will make you a special meal for you, said Esau. Then he hunted for some meat to cook. Bet you I made him like a cheeseburger. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe that's, yeah, that's a special meal. 
Isaac's wife Rebecca wanted Jacob to get God's blessing. So while Esau was hunting, she told Jacob her plan. She made Isaac's dinner, then she tied goat skins around Jacob's arms. Jacob took the meal to his father. After dinner, Isaac reached out to bless his son. Isaac thought Jacob was Esau, so he gave Jacob his blessing. When Esau returned, he found out what had happened. Esau was very angry. He wanted to hurt Jacob. Rebecca asked Isaac to send Jacob to his uncle Laban's house. Okay, so we're going to also read a story called Jacob's Dream, which is in Genesis 28. Okay. Jacob traveled for many miles. His uncle Laban lived far away. One night he lay on the ground using a stone for his pillow. Jacob fell fast asleep. Why, well, pillow, I would have never been able to fall asleep. Oof, rough. I know, right? Jacob dreamed of a stairway to heaven. Angels walked up and down. God said, I am watching over you, Jacob. Someday all of this land will belong to you and your family. The next morning when Jacob woke up, he said, the Lord is in this place. He took his stone pillow and set it up as a reminder of his dream. Jacob praised God. Then he continued on his way. Okay, and then Jacob and Esau meet again from Genesis 29. While Jacob lived with his uncle Laban, he became a shepherd. He fell in love and got married. God blessed Jacob with many sons. Jacob also had many sheep, donkeys, and camels. One day, God told Jacob to go back to his homeland. Okay, so so far in our story, Jacob has gotten the blessing, and so he has all these livestock and he has a wife that he loves and he has a new land and he's he's super happy okay and he's the one that took Esau's blessing so that's why he has all these good things yeah okay Jacob wanted to go back but he was afraid of his brother Esau he thought Esau would still be angry with him but Jacob obeyed God he and his family packed up everything they owned Jacob sent servants ahead to offer gifts to Esau. Much to Jacob's surprise, Esau ran to meet him, and he gave Jacob a big hug. They were so happy to see each other again. Okay. So, in our story, we learned that Jacob took the blessing, that he had a great life, and then he went home to see Esau, who he had taken the blessing from, right? Yeah. And was Esau upset with him? No. No. He ran out to meet him, and he was very excited to see him again. So, while God blessed Jacob with livestock and land, he also blessed Esau with a forgiving heart and with a faith in him. Oh. So, even though your sister took the credit for washing the dishes from your mom, and she got your mom's probably, like, hug and acceptance and approval for doing that task that you actually did, your mom overall was still really happy, and you have a loving and safe home to be in, and you have a mommy who loves you very much. So we still have these blessings, even if your sister takes the credit for one thing. And when we're doing something nice for someone, is it about the credit? No. No. It's about wanting them to feel good, right? To be happy and to be excited that 
what they were had done for them is the one last test that they had to take off on their list. Yeah, we do it because we love others unconditionally. That's right. We do it because God first loved us, and he showed us how to love unconditionally by sending Jesus. Even when we didn't deserve that credit, he sees Jesus' righteousness on us. Yeah. And that's something that Jesus deserves the credit for. Yeah. But instead, God sees him in us. So that's a huge blessing that we get. Right? Yeah. I think we should pray about it. Okay. And I heard, Bubba, that you have a special prayer request that it's your turn to say. I do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... Well, first we have to bow our heads and pray. Okay. Okay. Dear God, please be with the nurses and doctors and all of the essential workers while they continue to uh, serve and help us while this scary virus is going on and to uh, bless everyone unconditionally yeah i think that was it lord thank you so much for the time to gather here for your word and for coming to um to speak to us lord thank you for hearing us in our prayers today and we ask that you would be with our friends at home that you would keep them safe and healthy that you would please be with our pastor and his family as they grieve the loss of his father and lord we thank you for loving us first, for showing us and giving us Jesus' righteousness, even though we did not deserve that. We ask that you would help us to love others unconditionally. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Great job praying today, Bubba. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow.